friendly reminder to love on your people. Candy, Candy J. Welcome to this segment. I may have or may not made somebody upset to the point where they started crying. That. Oh. We went to Whole Foods. Yeah. You, you gotta be okay with them decisions because time, time, baby. You never know what can Candy, Candy J. Welcome to this segment of. Let's take this cheap ass TV apart and figure out what voltage we need to replace because I'm not buying another one. Okay. We took it off the wall. Remove it from the wall safely. If it's on a stand, remove it safely. Lay it flat on the surface. Make sure you don't crack the screen. We don't need to create another problem trying to fix another. Okay. Okay. Let's get it, girl. If you have a man, I suggest you ask him to help you. You ask him to help you. You be that damsel in distress. Because uh, if I could, I would. But I can't. But I'm really hot. It's that time of the month. I'm cooking. And, uh, yeah. All of that is going on. Let's not lean on it. Don't be a lazy one. All right, ladies, we're at the part where we have to remove the screws. This is important. Do not place them somewhere where you cannot find them. These two, I'm going to put them on the headboard. Are these all the same size? Yes, they are, so it really doesn't matter which order we put them back. However, we would like to, I can't get that one out. That one's a deep hole, so I will have, I'm going to have to flip the TV. I got to go check on my daughter's fries. I'm back. Always have to multitask. I'm gonna flip it towards you guys so y'all catch it. Catch it! Catch it! Catch it! Mm. Did you catch it? Okay, because. Don't piss me off. I got one right here. I think that's the only one that fell out. That one? That one fell out though. So two fell out. Where's the other? Okay, girls, we got it all. We now got it all. But, um, he said these thingies right here on YouTube because I went to the University of YouTube and I asked them, and this is what the man said. See, I listen to the means. I listen to the means. He said these bolts have to be replaced. So, um, I have to look up the name and I'm gonna get on Amazon and that's what we're gonna order. But I have to look at them. Honestly, I don't mind being a handy dandy girl. I don't. I like it. It's like puzzles to me. Like, you know, you get to try to see what fits where. You got to read instructions. You got to take your time. It makes you really present. You have to slow down and really be present. You can't just you can't just go up in there think you could do whatever you want, girl. Because a lot of us women think we go up in there and make it do what we want it to do. And we can't. So, I like that. Because it really does make you present. You have to you have to turn off your brain and everything you're thinking about and focus on what is in front of you. Or you won't risk coming out a lot of money, honey. No, I need to go the other way. Ow! Don't break it! See what I'm talking about? One wrong move. And you over here. Ain't got nothing. So, I'm sorry, mama. Baby, I need to get on my knees because uh, my back hurt. All of that sound wrong to me. Anyways, 
I never meant to hurt you. I never meant to make you cry, but tonight I'm cleaning out my closet. One more time. Now I would never diss my mama just to get recognition. Take a second and listen who you think this record is dissing. Let's try to envision witnessing your mama pop prescription pills in the kitchen. Okay. My intrusive thoughts are winning, but I'm trying to entertain myself. Because I'm hot as hell. It's like the air. Do y'all have a specific room in y'all house where like the air just chooses not to circulate in that one room? Huh? Because can y'all see me now? Your girl got a tan shit. Look. <laughs> she really chocolate. <laughs> I love it. Um, yeah. This room has always been a room that the air does not circulate into. Or like the heat in the wintertime too. Damn, poor ventilation, bro. Them kids be going through it. This ain't ever got me down bad like that. The other one's popped out. And I don't want to strip it. That's what, you gotta be present. Okay, I just needed a thicker one. <laughs> I need a thicker. Okay. I need that. That's that dig. That's that jelly, baby. Champagne hip, baby. Okay. Talk to me nice. Okay. I don't want to pull nothing because these down here are like attached to stuff. So like if I if I pull this up. Uh-huh. It's not gonna work. Okay. Okay. Fuck. How do we do? This is is this tape down? No. It's another screw. That's why. That's why. There's another screw. Hey, little fella. How you doing? I can really be a a, a tech girly. I really can. Just tell me what to do and like. Like, I'm a visual learner. Show me. Just show me what the hell I got to do. And then once you show me, please move. I got to unplug this damn cord, too. Can I just, like, I can't. If I, yeah. Okay, let me not try to unplug it. Because it might not unplug. I mean, plug back up. So, pay attention. If you see a barn on the beat. I push it, I push it like I'm in labor. And he'll teach, teach me to teach me to love my neighbors. Just we'll, we'll, we'll wait up, I'm processing all the data. Processing all the data, processing all the haters. You was writing disses. I was taking bitches. Sending autographs for all of my bad bitches. Okay. Nigga, yeah. They're not bad. They're not gonna be in my room. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Okay, because I hate them. I had you. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so you gotta take away. You gotta take something off. Well, I had to take that off. These have to be replaced, but I need to know what they is to order them off Amazon. Cause I'd be damned if I get another TV. And I just got this one in either 2021 or 2022. We got this one. We was in the mail. Yeah. Yeah. I ain't doing that shit. So. I don't know What's how to, how, what they're called, but it's going to come out, it's going to get replaced, because the man on Amazon did it, I mean not on Amazon, on um, YouTube, yup, and I'm going to follow that brother, can you, don't break nothing, because if you break it, then now we know we got a bad new TV, you Why should not? know once he took yeah. it apart, yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you gotta unscrew it? Let's I don't know how it come out. He didn't show me that part. He just said replace these. That's what you're supposed to show me. So what are we doing? I'm not fixing my TV. He on TikTok. I keep saying he on. Um... Are you watching anything in the living room? Oh, no, go ahead, baby. Okay. I just, I just. Hey. All right, here we go. Make sure you got your solder. Solder and uh, placement resistance. Oh, you need a solder. What the hell is a solder? 
Cause you're gonna have to salt it. Yeah. What's the solder? So, so it's like a um, it's kind of like a saw, but it's for small places. Cause you're gonna have to. I can't use a knife. <laughs> you probably can and fuck something up. That's that's fine. Yeah, you probably can. But it's like it's like welding. You gonna have to cause you gotta cut it off. I gotta cut. I gotta cut it off. So yeah. So you go. So basically, you have to these cut parts. Into yeah. That? Cause the, what you when you get it, they gonna have to go back through that. Explain it again. So solder, you are gonna have to. I gotta cut the the sticks. Yeah. Because when you get them, mm -hmm. they gonna have to go back through that same hole, so you can't fuck that hole up. Mm okay. Now you make it sense. Cause I didn't get that. <laughs> just about to snatch some shit apart up in there. Okay. Substitute for something. <laughs> <laughs> Mommy, let you be. She said substitute for. Oh, Lord. I'm not going to invest in a solder. For why? We have tools though. We have a toolbox. I think I should go to the storage. <laughs> I think I should go to storage and see if we have one in the toolbox that we got over there. Y'all want to go with me? Do y'all really think I can get this? Like I, I can accomplish this mission? I probably shouldn't. I got to order that off of Amazon too. I don't plan on no more TVs breaking down. Ooh, Prime Day. Prime Day is coming up. Should I wait? It's just like two days. It's it's the it's today's the fifteenth. Uh, solder, solder iron kit. Is that what it's called? Okay, this look like some welding tech stuff. It's eleven dollars. It's a temperature soldering iron nine and one. Okay. Huh? Capsitor. Hey y'all. Okay, I found Z. Let's go. Oh my god, Tasha, you scared me. I'm sorry. Like, why would you do that? I hurt myself. So you decided to blow in my stomach? No, I hurt myself blowing in your stomach. No. Karma. <laughs> you was really love that damn word. Karma. Thursday, y'all. We almost to the weekend. I'm happy it's Thursday. My cycle is over. And she came real, real early. Normally she be, you know, coming late sometimes, but I'm not mad at it. At, at the week this is being, baby. I'm glad she came early because in the last vlog, if you would have seen the week, last weekend when we went to see B. Simone, we saw her at B. Simone Saturday. And I didn't um, put in the footage from the show and like how I felt about it. And I was like telling y'all, you know, how I enjoyed it and stuff because my mind was rushing the day that the vlog came out. The day that the vlog came out, I was editing it and putting in the last touches, and then I had got a, f a phone call, and yeah. But I'm gonna insert my thoughts about the show right here. Hey y'all, uh, we back from seeing B. Simone. Y'all, it was so good. I just love B. Simone. Her personality, her walk with God that she started. She started last year. I love her relationship with her sister. I love how goofy and just silly and just like, oh, okay, carefree she is. Even with her going through, you know, the cancellation and last year and all that stuff. It was so good. E. Oh, my bad. It was definitely a good time. I'll go see her again. We couldn't record in there. That was part of the three rules. You cannot record. And, of course, y'all know B. Simone always throw God in there. 
She always put God in the mix. And that's what I like. I like that too. I like just all of her. From being a silly, goofy, transparent. You like her personality? Yeah. I love I love her personality. She's just very authentic and she shows you that it's okay. Like oh Does she show a lot of empathy? Yeah, she she's she's very empathetic, I think. I don't know, but I think I feel like she is. I'm so, sure she is. Yeah. So I really enjoyed her and just her being herself and not putting on this brand. Like, you know, this is me. And not having to change herself to make someone happy. Yeah. Pretty much. That part. Bars. She don't change herself to make anybody happy. She's true to herself and authentic and goofy and silly, but she walks in her faith. She loves God. She, baby. She is her. I mean, she's her for real, but she's just like her, like literally herself. And I love it because in a world where everybody is like copy and pasting, copy and pasting and duplicates. I don't know. I like, I, I, I am drawn to the people who are not, who go against the grain, who literally be themselves, who don't try too hard, who don't do the most, who don't want to fit the goddamn brand, but make the brand fit them. If that makes sense. Because I'm, I'm, I'm going to get it in regardless. Like, I'm going to get it. Shit going to shake for me in regardless. I don't have to do it your way. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. I just love her and her personality. And I really had a great time. So, yeah. That's how that went. I really enjoyed it. Like I said, you couldn't vlog in there. They gave you, like... During her introduction and her coming on stage, we was able to record. And then, you know, she danced a little bit. And she was like, okay, introduction over. Take that shit. Like, <laughs> cut the cameras. Which I think was dope because it, like, forced everybody to be a part of the show. Instead of watching your phone watch the show. You feel me? Like, so I really enjoyed it. However, the message was right on time because when she said, you don't have time. She, that, that was, baby. That message was right on time because the next day, my cousin called me and um, she was telling me what was going on as far as my dad and that side of the family because I, I didn't know what was going on or whatever. And it was a lot. And then leading up to yesterday, Wednesday, the 17th, my dad lost his mom. So it's unfortunate. And um, that's why I was rushing to edit the vlog that I uploaded and stuff from last weekend. And I had to go check on him and make sure he was good. Because, you know, we are now at the age where we parent our parents. Which, you know, it comes with it. But my daddy loved his mom. And... You know, my daddy was messed up. That that affects me. That affects me. And I'm sorry. And it's just, it's, it's just a lot me. But the message came on on time is the bottom line. Will be some old thing. You don't have time. Time don't wait for you. Like, you put it off. Oh, I'll do it tomorrow. Or, you know, you hold a grudge against somebody. Or you don't talk to people. You, you, you got to be okay with them decisions. Because time, time, baby. You never know what can happen. So that message came right. Anyways, um, I spent all day with my dad. Well, all evening. I got to him, and then um, I just chilled when it was just me and him. My little brother met us over there with his uh, fiance, but they had bought tickets for a show, so they 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 decided to still go to the movies and whatever. So that was that, but. Yeah, went, sat with him, talked, grabbed him a drink. He wanted, he wanted a drink, you know. And yeah. Today, I'm supposed to go back over there. A little bit later, my older brother is gonna um come out to my dad's, so which should be cool because I ain't seen my older brother and. I don't know fucking how long. I don't even know if Zuri's gonna go with me because my baby, yesterday I didn't take her with me because my baby is just like, a, okay, yeah, okay, uh-huh, mm -hmm, we came, yay. 
And then once she start being on my hip and she right here just steady behind me, grabbing on me, tugging on me, pushing me, laying on me, she ready to go. And that'd be about all of 30, 40 minutes. And I knew yesterday wasn't going to be no drive by. This is, you know, I'm going to go be with my daddy. But uh, I don't know if I'm going to take her today. I don't know if she's going to stay with Tania and my mom. We gonna see y'all because I ain't got time for her to be sitting there. It's just, this ain't that type of party, girl. This ain't that type of party. Never the least, I'm about to do laundry. Um, Zuri was in her bed yesterday and she felt an ant crawling on her chest and she took all her sheets and she threw that in the goddamn dirty clothes. She said, I ain't sleeping in that bed. You need to change my sheets <laughs> and wash my um covers. So yesterday, I did vacuum her floor, and um, she slept in Tania's bed. Tania spent the night at her friend's house. So now, I'm about to do the laundry while I got a chance and put different sheets on Zuri's bed so she feels better. What's on the agenda today is hopefully um hopefully before I leave to go meet up with my dad and my brother Amazon whatever hopefully they drop off the piece that I need for the TV to finish putting the TV together. I hope that's the real reason why the damn TV is messing up in the first place because I have no way of knowing. Like, I, I didn't do a diagnostic test. Like, I, I don't know if this is for sure what's wrong with it. But we here now. I have not already bought the parts. They're supposed to be here today. Did y'all shop for on Prime Day? What was that? Tuesday and Wednesday yesterday? I... I did it. I only bought the parts for the TV. I meant to go back in and buy the um like can I don't it's not a canopy, it's like a tent for the beach when we go next weekend. But all the stuff happened with my family, so I was occupied with that. But I meant to go in and buy it. So your friendly reminder to love on your people. I don't know what you're doing, but love on your people. And I'm sure you've been loving on them, but you know, it's some more people out there that you ain't been loving on who you Need to love them. You know, the people who you always think, you know, they know what it is. They know I love them, but I don't talk to them every day. Or, you know, they know I'm only one call away, but you don't talk to them every day. Or you don't talk to them every week. myself too I need some creamer that's what I forgot I know it's hot look at that oh oh is she an aesthetic girl all the aesthetics I just finished my first load of laundry. I just folded it, put everything up and whatnot. I think today is gonna be a cleaning day for me. I took my sheets, I already told you I took Zuri sheets, but I took mine as well, washed. I'm about to sweep and mop the kitchen floor. I already did the dishes. And then I'm gonna clean our bathroom. And um, once I'm done with all that, I'm going to make some videos 
That's what I'm gonna do. As you can see, cleaning is my way of coping. I don't know. I just cleaning just makes everything feel better. I don't know what it does for y'all, but cleaning just makes everything feel better for me. If it make my whole life feel in order, it make it feel fresh, renewed, transformed. It went from chaotic to just nice and neat in a matter of hours. That's what I feel. So my dad started a group chat. He texts picture of his mom. When she was younger. My dad decided the family got some strong genes. We know them damn eyes anywhere. But yeah. He still hasn't texted and let me know what time um, my brother Q is coming out here. So. We shall see if we're still going to go over there today and see and meet up with him. I don't know. I know my energy kind of like blah this video but that's literally what it's giving that is literally what it's giving you were given a heads up about somebody's medical condition you know it still affects you when they do transition yeah. my daddy is affected he is affected man so let me get off my ass and do this because no later than 1 30 it's 12 like 12 4. no later than 1 30 I want to be doing videos so BRB Text it to you because it's like a long order. I could take you because I gotta go to Walmart. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, just me. Yeah. Yeah. Tajay, yeah. she gave me forty dollars for babysitting. It was like it was really Chrissy's money. I was gonna say I didn't give you shit. <laughs> Thank you, because I'm uh, going to go to the store. Tajay, Tajay says she can take me because she's going to go to the store to fix the TV. I'm crying. <laughs> okay. We went to Whole Foods um, so I can return them damn capsitors because they was not the right size. Then we went to Walmart and Chipotle. Now I'm going to order the correct ones. I need 400 volt, but 10 micro, micro fades, micro fades, whatever the hell that means. No. The minute she say something else, we gonna be fighting. I'm back, y'all. So, um, I may have or may not made somebody upset to the point where they started crying 
but it was out of love. Okay. It's been an emotional week. You know. And that's all I can say. <laughs> it's been an emotional week and you know, I'm trying to be there for my dad, make sure he's okay. He's he's adjusting. And I don't know when he when he said it yesterday. He was like, "It's just thinking about tomorrow when I wake up and I'm breathing in a world where my mom my mom's not breathing." That stuck out to me because my mom's birthday is was exact is exact. Oh my goodness, something in my exactly a week from yesterday. It said it was the 17th. My mom's birthday is, is the 24th next week, and I don't know. It just made me think, and I'm just like, yo. Time really waits for nobody. Be Simone, that message ain't, if that ain't come on time, baby, that stuck out. So, you know, just making sure he's straight, but then making sure my brother's straight. That's who I may or may not have upset, you know. But it was out of love because I don't ever want nobody to play with him. And I feel in my sister instincts that he's being played with. And that dog just want to come out. Because what in your right mind ever thought that it, you thought it was okay to come over here and play with this one? He belongs over here. He belongs. Don't do that. Don't do that. That's my, that's, I always say my firstborn. That is my mother. That's my brother. Don't fucking play with him. And you know, he might be, you know, young and dumb and free and whatever. But he got a support system that care about him and what the fuck I would never be silent about or not speak up for is him Tania or Zuri never don't don't I don't give a damn who you are I really don't care the relations I don't care if we got the same DNA I don't care what you thought this was you will not play with him you won't play with none of them so you know he got upset and he was he told me like yo the way you just came at me I'm about to crash out I told him crash out then crash out Ricky say what you gotta say I words I'm not sensitive to words okay this is the time of the month thank god I came off today but don't, don't like get it off your chest but I, what what most importantly i want you to hear me and what i'm bringing to the table and what i'm talking to you about because boy 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 i need you to be aware because to be aware is to be alive and um it seemed like you know it seemed like you're being played with and uh you just took it and he wasn't more so upset about what I, what, how I said everything, and what I brought to the table. But when, first of all, when I calmed down, cause my mom's like, "Well, let's just take a minute." She wanted to play that good cop, bad cop. We passed that at this point, okay? So um, yeah, when I when we calmed down and he we talked about it in depth in the message and we was like piecing the puzzles together for him to look at the bigger picture i'm like do you now do you see why I'm, I'm i'm reacting the way that i'm reacting because i don't want you to be out here being you know you got a good heart my brother has a good heart listen y'all know we grew up in the suburbs we you know we just my brother has a good heart he is a fucking amazing man and any woman who he, you know, settles down with and he commits his life to is going to be a lucky woman. You know, he still got some growing to do. He's only 20. He is for sure immature. For sure immature. But he is an amazing man. He is very caring. Ricky is, Ricky is amazing. However, you know, I'm not. I'm not. Uh-uh. I'm 10 years older. I didn't seen a lot. I pay attention. I I I grew up in the suburbs too, but I I I, I grew up with our parents still being young and immature and taking me around other stuff that, you know, I paid attention. I seen more than Ricky and I I just want him to be safe and I want him to be aware and I want him to put him first. I want him to put him first. I want him to always remember to put him first. Before you can't you can't help somebody else if you dying. You gotta make sure you good before you help anybody that you love, that you care for, that you you know. So that was tonight. 
Yesterday was was emotional. Today was emotional. I need a drink. 